Welcome back to another Delivery Reviewed. Before you leave, please consider it. Food review video, less than 10 minutes, to the point. If you enjoy it, subscribe. Don't abandon the video. Just watch, we've got the new Chili Jam Bacon Double Whopper. So as we finish off the unboxing or what's in the bag, apology for the... Uh, request for subscribers i don't don't usually do it the only things i've got is obviously the pop-ups but it does help the algorithm and it really does push the video out to more people to see the videos and hopefully subscribe i mean if you enjoy the videos then that's the main thing but the little button there that's literally all you've got to do it doesn't cost you a thing unlike everything else in this world just click the button and you're subscribed that's it job done um, and obviously if you can view the videos that would be massively appreciated so that aside this week Massive appreciation to subscriber that pointed me in the direction of the new items. As you can see there, Fry's Whopper Halloumi. So they've had Whoppers for years, but they've got this new range, the Chili Jam range. We'll go into that in a minute. The fries themselves were, I'll say, pretty good. I know they're signature fries, but I think they're getting better and better and better. Burger King are kind of finding their fries, I think, um, as per everybody else with their signature fries, etc. Um, outstripping McDonald's, I think, by quite a way. Unless you do like the kind of the really skinny McDonald's fries, then fair enough. But these are kind of in between. They're crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. I think that they're pretty good fry. So that's what I'm going to say on them because I've had them many times. The halloumi fries, which you'll see now weren't really up to much this week they were kind of all squashed together um the flavors were nice and kind of like the grilling or, or should say probably deep frying the the kind of outer coating was quite nice but they kind of like just sort of fell apart almost broke apart as if they'd been sat around for a little bit too long maybe i don't know but that's all i'm saying on the halloumi fry so quickly on to the uh chili jam bacon double whopper not just a single whopper a double whopper which i don't think i'm not 100 sure i don't think they've done a double whopper before obviously you can do it yourself by adding a patty in but the only alter uh, alternative is the bacon double cheese and i know people don't like the xl because it's too much but it really is good um that's the only comparable burger that they do in terms of like a double whopper so there you can see chili bacon double whopper or chili jam bacon double whopper and it was pretty good Apology if you can hear any sniffing, it's the summer cold, uh, hay fever has arrived, so yes, brilliant. However, advertised versus reality, wasn't a million miles off. The burgers clearly are not bigger than the bun, and the bun itself is the downfall on this burger. It just isn't substantial. I mean, you can even see there, it's, it's so soft. Um, it could just do with being either a bit more toasted um, or just a bit denser, like less air pockets, I think. Um, but the burger itself, in terms of two burgers, cheese, American cheese, um, crispy bacon, it wasn't really crispy, and tomatoes, which weren't actually on the uh, items, lettuce, mayo, and the chili jam sauce. I think it was meant to be um, onions and pickles, which I didn't have, as in I purposely didn't have. Um, they haven't just made a mistake, but they've probably put those tomatoes on in place of the onion and pickles. I just don't like raw onions said it a million times before but either way the range there as you can see with the doing it on the chicken burgers as well but the burger itself was a really good burger if the bun was a little bit more up to it as you can see there the bun's kind of like as of half eating it the bun was kind of like split in half and the further i started eating it the more it kind of started to fall apart and that i know it shouldn't annoy me but it really does annoy me because it's like you start off with a really nice burger, as you can see there, all of the kind of ingredients kind of just slipping out of the bag, literally. Um, the, the two sauces, maybe the mayo and the hot sauce, maybe the mayo wasn't really required or could have been on the bottom bun. Not too bad prices, as you can see there. Still pretty expensive, I, I would say, but it was a meal. Um, but yeah, as you start sort of getting further into the burger, it, it kind of gets worse. So it starts off good and you think, oh, it's not bad. And then it starts to get worse. But the sauce was quite hot i wouldn't say it was smoky um in terms of what they've described it as it's definitely sweet but it's more a hot sauce or sweet hot sauce uh, a bit like maybe you could say sweet chili almost um but with, without kind of like they're saying sweet but not necessarily honey so it's kind of i would say a hot sauce it was nice it, it gave a bit of heat to the burger so overall i think as a meal it was really good um the burger itself is a different change i think they've kind of nailed it with the with the chili jam extra and as you can see with the ratings 8.7 probably could have been nine nine for the fries and 7.5 for Lumi. thanks for watching i appreciate all the subscribers if if you can subscribe i would massively appreciate it and then we'll be on to the next one next week